Welcome back to our third part. We were thinking about God's kingdom growing like a mustard seed becoming a great big plant, starting in a small way, becoming something big. I'm going to sing a song now which talks about planting seeds of the Spirit. The song is Colours of Day. The words are uh, posted on Facebook. Some of you might remember singing this song in school. Others who are a bit older, more like my age, remember when the song first came out. It was actually a pop song in the charts in the 1970s. I suppose that will do anyway. Colours of day. Colours of day dawn into the mind. The sun has come up, the night is behind. Go down in the city, into the streets, and let's give the message to the people we meet. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. Go through the park, on into the town. The light still shines on, it never grows down. The light of the world is risen again. The people of darkness are needing a friend. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. Open your eyes, look into the sky. The darkness has come, the sun came to die. The evening draws on, the sun disappears. But Jesus is living, his spirit is near, so light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return, take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. So that's just what it's all about. That's just how the kingdom of God is spread, by people just telling others about Jesus, taking seed to the Spirit and letting the fruit grow in our lives, telling the people of Jesus and letting his love show. We move on quickly now to our last point, the parable of the sower. Mark chapter 4, verse 3. Jesus said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path and the birds came and 
ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns which grew up and choked the plants so that they did not bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. He came up, grew and produced a crop multiplying 30, 60 or even a hundred times. Then Jesus said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. The disciples didn't understand what that parable meant and later Jesus explained it to them. He told them that it was about the spread of God's word. The seed, he says, is God's word. And the different kinds of soil that the seed fell into represent the different kinds of human hearts and the way that people respond to God's word. When they sowed seed in those days, they used to just scatter it, broadcast it like that, all over the place. And the field wasn't a nicely tilled field like today. Some of it was stony, some of it was weedy. Some of it was trodden down where a path ran along the side and all the people and animals had trodden it down hard. And some of the seed fell on the path, on the wayside. The ground was hard, the seed just lay there, the birds came and took it off. That was the end of that. Those are like the people whose hearts are so hardened that they don't respond to God's word at all. It's just like water off a duck's back. Now some of the seed fell on stony ground. There were lots of stones just beneath the surface. A very thin layer of soil. That seed started off very well. The seeds were near the surface and they sprang up quickly and they started growing but then the sun came up. The hot sun burnt them. Because they had no root, because there was a layer of stones they couldn't penetrate. They dried up. They died. They withered. They're like the people who make a kind of superficial response to God's word. Oh yes, I'm interested in that. They want to be religious. They want to go to church. They say they want to follow Jesus. But as soon as it becomes difficult... They've got no roots of faith going deep down in, into the Lord. They just wither away. They lose their faith, we say, though one might doubt whether they really ever had any real faith. And then some of the seed fell among thorns or thistles, weeds that were already there. And those weeds sprang up and they grew so much faster that they choked out the seed and it, it did grow. The wheat grew but didn't produce any ears of wheat, no fruit. Those are like the people who hear God's word. They say, yes, they do believe. They will become Christians. They will follow Jesus. But then they're distracted away from following Jesus by the weeds which Jesus said represent, on the one hand, all the anxieties and strains of life that distract us away. We're anxious about all these things. We worry. It distracts us from following Jesus. And on the other hand, the snares of materialism and the desire to be rich or to get on well with other people in the world that makes us turn away from following Jesus. And so those people... They bear no fruit in their lives. It's not that they aren't Christians. It's just that their Christian life is unfruitful. They don't produce the fruit of the spirit of love, joy and peace and patience and goodness and kindness, faithfulness and self-control. And then finally, some of it fell into good soil. It wasn't hard like the soil on the path. It wasn't full of stones. It wasn't full of weeds and thistles. It was good soil. 
and it produced a crop, and some of it was 30-fold, some 60-fold, some even 100-fold. And so it is that those who truly believe and follow Jesus by seeking to obey him, not just believing, but following, they will produce fruit, the fruit of the Spirit, which is love in all its different manifestations. The question we ask ourselves as we think about this parable of the sower, not about the seed, it's about the soils really, isn't it? The seed is God's word. But what kind of soil are we? Are we producing fruit? Or are we unfruitful because we're easily distracted away from the Lord? Very challenging, isn't it? We sing our final hymn now, Lord of All Hopefulness. Most of these songs we've been doing are ones that we've done in recent weeks. I just thought I didn't want to load too many new things onto people. I also didn't want to have to learn too much new stuff myself. Not very well in tune. in front of me as well you've got the words on Facebook those of you who are on Facebook Lord of all hopefulness Lord of all joy whose trust ever childlike no cares could destroy be there at our waking and give us we pray your peace in our hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares could destroy be there at awaking and give us we pray your peace in our hearts lord at the break of the day lord of all eagerness lord of all faith whose strong hands were skilled at the plain and the lathe. Be there at our labours and give us, we pray, your strength in our hearts, Lord, at the noon of the day. Lord of all kindliness, Lord of all grace, your hands swift to welcome, your arms to embrace. Be there at our coming and give us, we pray, your love in our hearts, Lord, at the eve of the day. Lord of all gentleness, Lord of all calm, whose voice is contentment, whose presence is balm, be there at our sleeping and give us, we pray, your peace in our hearts, Lord, at the end. Now may grace, mercy and peace from God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all and remain with us forevermore.
Amen. Thank you for watching these videos and for joining in at home. See you again next week.